Hi, welcome to Nate's Greats Old School New School Toy Review. I'm Nate. And I'm Miles. And we're going to be reviewing toys from an old school and new school perspective and point of view. Our first review on our video channel is going to be the world's first Super Mario fully articulated action figure. It's by SHF Figure Arts and you can do all the poses from the classic Mario game. There are three sets that it came out with. The Super Mario Basic Set, the Experience Posing, ex the ex Enhance Posing Experience with Brick Blocks, and you can recreate Mario's world with pipe accessories. We got the first two sets, but we don't have the one with the pipe accessories. So we're going to be talking about the packaging, the articulation, and Miles is going to talk about it from a kid's point of view, how fun it is to play with this toy. Um, first of all, packaging. It comes in a really good, sturdy box that's really easy to open and play with. And you can put it back in the box if you're a collector and you want to keep it um, in a showcase. So we're going to open these now. Just dump it. The set itself comes with the, go ahead and start setting up your, yeah, comes with the fully articulated Mario figure. He's got good shoulder joints, it's a ball and socket on the shoulder, and the head, and the feet, so you can spread the legs and put the feet down and make them stand in superposable positions. He's got a wrist. flexibility, elbow bend, shoulders go up and down and move around. It's got good ball joints for the feet, like I said, and the knee joints, and really cool hip joints. I'm really impressed with the hip, the kicking action that you can put on there, and the knee joints. Now the third set, which we're looking for, we, we weren't able to get it at our local store, comes with the uh, turtle shell and the green pipes as well as hands that you can remove these and have them run and hold the turtle shell like we showed you guys in the poster so great set with uh, great articulation Miles is going to set up a couple of your classic scenes from the game that you can pose the toy in and talk about how fun it is to play with this toy There's a little spot on the back that you can remove to put in like a peg for the clear plastic spots to put them in for poses so he can jump and hit the bricks. And the Goomba set comes with the Goomba. The power up. Some of the head smashing bricks. So what do you like best about this figure, Miles? It's the biggest. It's okay. No, we're not gonna do it over. It's okay. You're a kid. This is the kid's part. It's playing. You like the coins? I like the coins. About the what? About the what? Yep, we talked about the articulation on the figure already. So let's see, you can put the mushroom on top. He really likes the mushroom. Tell him about the mushroom. I really like the mushroom because they tried to do it as best as they can to do it the way that it looks on the Wii, the Wii U. And yes. NDS and the original Nintendo and Super Nintendo systems. It's a great likeness with the power up, with the coins. 
and you can set them up in lots of different poses. Hitting the brakes in the Goomba. We're excited about looking to get the, uh, the turtle shell set with the pipes so we can set them up in uh, more exciting poses. Um, it looks to like it's, I'm not sure, it looks like it's vinyl and not PVC because it's a little bit softer but still really sturdy, really solid plastic. What do you think about the Goomba? They was the mushroom. They did really good work, and they tried to do the best as we or we you character of the Goomba or DS character of the Goomba. Okay, we'll look at the poster a little bit more. We got the poster. Help me hold it up, buddy. We got the poster courtesy of our local collectible shop, Fat Collectibles. Thank you, AJ. Um, like I said, it was from SHF Figure Arts, and as you can see, the third set here co with, comes with the, the large and the small pipe, another Goomba, a turtle shell, coin. another gold coin, and the different hands, the open hands like in this picture, so coin you can pose him running. This picture, I thought he was sliding into base. What do you think, Miles? It's a big or small. It's a big if your Mushroom power up, and if you're small, you die. You die, so he got he hit the, the Goomba and he got shrunk down? Yeah. That's what happened there? Okay. So, the basic set comes with the Mario, the power up brick, the power up itself, the coin, and the little clear stand that's underneath this coin so you can set it up for display. The enhanced posing experience with brick blocks comes with the Goomba. These two brown bricks that he jumps up and smashes with his hand. It comes with a little snowboard looking piece that these pieces are on top of. And just the, just the whole display piece on it. Um, very important in the display of this. And... Uh, He's excited about doing this. This was his idea to finally do a YouTube video, so I think it's uh, it's good to do something a little bit different than everybody's doing out there. There's lots of people sitting in their basements at Grandma's house making review videos. We just wanted to do it from an old school and a new school perspective. We're going to be doing reviews on um, different things coming out. Transformers, Masterpiece Transformers, um, video games, comic books. We're going to be going to different events and venues, such as um, SmashCon coming up, where we're going to get to meet Len Wein again. Remember when we went, met Len Wein, who created Wolverine? And Herb Tramp. We're going to get to go there. I'm going to get a ticket so you can go with me, okay, bud? And we're going to be reviewing some original sketch art that we've got from different events going on. So feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching our Super Mario Toy Review. Once again, this is Nate's Great signing off. We'll see you later. Say bye, Miles. Bye.